All right, guys, so now with the Wonder Woman review down and out of the way, and uh, like I said, with the lack of news this week, we are going to use this opportunity to discuss our most anticipated movies of 2021. And I'm going to get hey, things... Hey, Rob. Yeah, what's up, Sorry, sorry to interrupt. You good. You might want to wave, wave your hands for the folks at home that were... Oh, yeah. We're waiting for the, the spoilers to be over. That's a good point. We're <laughs> done. If you, if you were to pause here, this is when you unpause, waving hands again. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> People would have been muted for another hour, probably, <laughs> or just went on to another video at some point. But either way, let's get this list started. So first off, I'm going to give my top top five. We're going to now get the uh, top five list from uh, Robin Rick or not Robin Rick, Rick <laughs> and John. And then I have just like honorable mentions of just pretty much all the movies I'm looking forward to in 2021. But first off, my number one most anticipated of 2021 is Dune. Ooh, good Directed by D Denis Villeneuve himself. Wow. All the backlash, obviously, from the Warner Brothers announcement saying this is going to go on HBO Max. If anything, it's probably given Dune a lot more attention to people who have no idea what the hell Dune is. So it looks like they're going to be forced to release this one in theaters and not on HBO Max, which in some ways kind of disappoints me because I was actually looking forward to just watching on HBO Max because I'm not one to really go out in the midst of uh, this pandemic right now and go to the theaters. Like, it's not really the first thing I try to do, so... We'll just have to see. We'll have to see where we're at when this movie comes out and see if I can actually go see it or if I gotta wait. So my number two is actually Suicide Squad. With James Gunn attached to it, it made me a lot more hype for the first I didn't hate the first Suicide Squad movie, but it wasn't uh kind of like Wonder Woman 84. Like it wasn't really just executed very well. There were things they could have done a lot better. I think I like Suicide Squad a little bit more in that movie, but I don't really care for Suicide Squad either. It's another one of those where I've watched it one time. And I think that's enough. So, but with James Gunn coming back to direct this one, I'm very excited for it. So I can't wait to see that. My number three, number three, is actually Venom 2. Not because Venom number one was the best movie in the world, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. True. They're introducing Carnage in this one. I love Venom. I love Carnage. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character. And by virtue of that, I extend that likeness to a lot of his uh, rogues gallery and everything. So I love Venom. I love Carnage. Very excited to see what they do in that movie. So Venom 2 is my number three pick. Then my number four pick is Spider-Man 3, mainly because of all this, you know, this multiverse news that's been coming. Like this, this wouldn't have been, like, my number four or five or whatever without... All the confusion around what the hell's going on in this movie. So that is mainly like once the trailer comes out for this, it might, and we actually have a better understanding of what's even going on in this movie. I might not be looking forward to it as much. I don't know. As are there's some other movies uh, like the next one that I'm going to mention uh, for my number five pick. It, the same kind of concept could happen. Um, but with that being said, we'll get into my number five. My number five is actually Matrix Four. That being said, I have no idea what they're going to do with this movie. So <laughs> once I have some more information about this, I, I, I might not be looking forward to this at all. But as it stands right now, The Matrix is one of my all-time favorite movie franchises. Uh, despite the second and third one not living up to the greatness of the first one, I still got enjoyment out of those movies and just kind of just kind of like Spawn and Mortal Kombat. I love The uh, Matrix Reloaded, personally. I think it's a great movie. Uh, is it as good as the first Matrix movie? No, but I love the franchise. So those are my top five. Just go over it again. My top five most anticipated 2021 is Dune. Number two is Suicide Squad. Number three is Venom. Number four, Spider-Man 3. And number five is Matrix 4. So, guys, with those top fives, what do you, what do you think of, of my top five list? Any of those on your guys' list? Pretty much all of those are on my list. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So is that is that literally your top five as well? I was gonna say that. Uh gosh, I forget the other ones we were looking at, but those are definitely up there. Venom two in specific. I love Venom One. I like Venom. I like Carnage. You know, be interesting to see what Woody Harrelson does with the character. But uh like you said with the Matrix, I don't really know what's gonna happen. It's more or less just like, ooh, another Matrix movie, you know? Yeah. And to me, it's just like Sounds good. Like, I'm sure it'll be at least somewhat cool. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm hoping for, man. But Dune, I think, will be interesting. Uh, is it Timothy Chalamet? Chalamet? Yep, Timothy Chalamet. He's a good actor. Um, He's great, dude. Yeah, so uh, 
he can do it all. I saw him on Saturday Night Live and he was great. Yeah. But um, so I think that's cool. It's very sci-fi and like off world and just it. It seems like it'll be good and visually, I'm sure it'll be stunning. So for sure, the the, the director is what got me most hype about that movie. Like, yeah. I mean, I, was, I mean, I liked the original Dune. I've never read the books, and I, I like the original one from uh, the seventies or eighties, whenever it was. Yeah, I think it's I the eighties. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. I know that movie didn't do the books justice, just based on everything I've heard. So True. knowing that Denis Villeneuve was like a huge fan of the Dune material in general and you is think? making a more accurate depiction especially just with now is like what we're able to do you know with cgi and all that kind of stuff like i'm just i have a lot of faith in denis villeneuve so like he hasn't made a bad movie yet i don't expect him to make a bad one with a franchise that he holds very near and dear to his heart so i think so. two suicide squad will be good um I, i'm I think so, too. saying this i never even saw the first one but i like james gunn and from you're not the, listening anyway. the, what is it the sizzle reel or whatever <laughs> we saw um, mm-hmm. that it just looks entertaining, colorful, crazy. Yeah, it looks great. Dude. My kind of movie. I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited for it. John, how's your, how's your list stack up compared to mine? We actually only had one that crossed over. Although we do have, I, I cheated a little bit. I gave myself some honorable mention spots. <laughs> I, I, I got so, a whole list of honorable mentions too. So. <laughs> okay. For well, sure. my top my top five, and these are, I believe, in order. Um, my most anticipated one is Black Widow. Um, Black I've been looking Widow. forward to that movie. The, the pandemic, you know, first world problems here, but the pandemic is keeping that movie off the screens for a year is 100%. one of the most, yeah, one of the things. And that's not to take away from all the hardships mm-hmm. other people have endured. And that obviously I'm sympathetic and understand that. Epidemic has been a lot worse than just a movie being delayed. But mm-hmm. that being said, I was really looking forward to that movie, especially seeing what had happened with Natasha in, in game and this being a back, you know, them backtracking or going back in time to previous events, how they were going to weave that narrative into the overall MCU. And plus it's the first movie to kick kick off, kick off, kick, kick off, off <laughs> the next, the next phase of the MCU, which is, you know, we saw how master, well, in my opinion, how masterful, masterfully they executed the first um, ten years of of that film franchise. So, so I'm really curious to see how this one opens the door to the next decade and how they how they play it. So that's definitely number one in my book. Um, number two is Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, I'm a martial arts junkie. Uh, you know, you, you put martial arts in something, you have a better than not chance that I'm going to go see it. Um, so for the MCU to put their hands into that world and, and and bring a character from that world into the MCU, I'm I'm super excited about. Um, and the cast looks amazing for that. I have a feeling that it's going to be True. very well done. Yeah. Um. Then the next one is simply the the intrigue right now of it. Um, and all the casting news is the one you mentioned, Spider-Man 3. Uh, that's number three on my list just simply because I don't have any clue what they're doing. I don't understand where they're going with it. I'm so intrigued to find out how they pull that off. Um, we could get the first trailer, though, and I could go, well, that doesn't look good at all. And it could drop off the list. But right 100%. now it's firmly in at number three. Mm-hmm. Um, the next one for me is No Time to Die, Daniel Craig's last uh hurrah supposedly as james bond um he's all of his james bonds movies up until now have been immensely entertaining for me and um even i'm gonna forget the name of the second one um ah that's gonna drive me nuts anyway the the, even the second one which i didn't care for as much um quantum of souls quantum of souls thank you I had I still felt like it was an entertainment entertaining movie, and I like the James Bond franchise. So it'll be interesting to see them wrap up this chapter of those movies. And then finally, my fifth movie is Uncharted. Um, I'm a little disappointed that Nathan Fillion is not playing the role of Nathan Drake, um, but Tom Holland has done a good job with Spider Man. He does and, in the uh, end look the part too. <laughs> he does. Like in the he end, does. he looks he, like a young Nathan. 
Nathan Drake, not a young Nathan Phillips. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love those movies so much, or movies, those games so much that I'm hoping they do the movie justice, and um, that's it. All right. So we'll, we'll recap your list, and so you got, what do we got here? We got uh, Black Widow is your number one. Then we got old Shang-Chi is your number oh, two. Shang-Chi. We got Spider-Man 3 is your number Spider-Man three. three. And then number yep. four is No Time to Die, along with your number five of Uncharted. So that's a good list. Yeah. Solid yeah. list. So Solid. Surprisingly, here's the thing, though, too. <laughs> surprising. It's kind of, I guess, unsurprising that we didn't have any of matching. But at the same time, so many movies like Black Widow, for instance, and No Time to Die were supposed to come out this year. So 2021 is even more of a stacked year than it was even going to be. So, I mean, that being said, I, here's, here's a, just the honorable mentions. And, Rick, you might see some of these and some might pop out to you a little bit more as well. Because there's some on here that I'm like, I'm equally looking forward to kind of all these movies in 2021. Because this isn't like every movie in 2021, but it's a... It's definitely the ones I'm most looking forward to, for sure. So, Eternals. Very curious to see what's going on with that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm I'm honestly... I know it's been, like, delayed, because I think this was also one that was supposed to come out this year in 2020, but we haven't had any footage from it. Like, not a single thing. Like, not even a costume reveal. Yeah. There's been nothing, so... Shrouded in secrecy. It really is. All we gotten was a Kumal Nanjani body reveal. That's all we got. He's looking jacked. <laughs> yeah. He's looking jacked. So. But, so if that's not enough to make you intrigued, I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, definitely Eternal is something I'm looking forward to seeing. Then uh, Mission Impossible 7. That'll be cool. Because these movies, kind of like uh, what you were saying with Daniel Craig's James Bond movies, it, it, almost a better extent, though, is like I've, I've never been disappointed by one of these movies. Man, these things have these things get better as Tom it's Cruise pretty much gets the older. American James Bond almost in a way. Not really, but I mean, action wise, it's, it's very similar in concept. But very. Yeah. I mean, if they find a way to transition a different actor into that series, it could definitely be the American Mission Impossible for James yeah. Bond. Yeah. yeah. If they continue on after Tom's done with them and something, because I'm sure they will at some point, because I mean, why would you not, you know, in, in 20 years when Tom's obviously done doing it, like Hollywood sees a lot more value in rebooting an existing franchise and trying to come up with a new one. So if it works, they'll, they'll definitely do it later on. Yeah. And uh, obviously here we talked about the original, but Definitely looking forward to this Mortal Kombat movie. I think that'll be cool. But again, I have hesitations for this because it's a first-time writer who penned the script, and it's a first-time director who directed the movie. So I'm worrisome in that regard. But, I mean, everyone has to have their first time doing something. So, I mean, I, I, I'm good with that. Think but. of the resources they have, though, now, like compared to the first one that came out, you know, like visually and... Dude, Everything. just because it, the, that's implying that every movie that comes out today should be good, and that yeah. we know that's not the case. Like, there's tons of resources available to everybody. It's all about the execution. True. I mean, look at Wonder Woman '84. Like, in my opinion, not <laughs> executed well at all. But they had all the money and all the resources and a good first movie to build off of. And like, I don't know, didn't doesn't always work out. So I'm, I probably have the most hesitation for this one, but also I'm the most optimistic because. I mean, Mortal Kombat's great. Like, I just, I, I, yeah. I've been waiting years for them to actually do like a a good, a good legit one. Mortal Kombat, and like they say that they're gonna have like fatalities and all this stuff <laughs> in it, and just like, cool, man. Like, I'm I'm on board with it. Just make it good. Like, I'm definitely definitely excited to see where that goes. But hey, like I said, once we get the first trailer for it, I might be completely turned off about it. But the idea of it, just like Matrix Four, it's up there for me. Yeah. Also, Morbius. That first trailer kind of like blew me away with it. I was not expecting to uh, really care at all in a lot of ways about it. Like I love Jared Leto. I think he's a great actor. I, I like. I was really excited for, to see what he was going to be doing as a Joker, and I think they really butchered what his Joker could have been. And that first trailer, kind of along the lines with uh, the Spider-Man Three, I, I'm like. Just the the reveals that we got in the trailer really piqued my interest. With you know the Spider Man mural on the wall in the alleyway, and then 
Michael Keaton's vulture character appearing at the end and the prison yeah. costume he was in at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming. So just the idea that this movie is somehow connected to the MCU Spider-Man stuff in some way, however loosely or however, I'm th that's got me very intrigued. But I mean, other than that, like the actual Morbius stuff we saw in the trailer, I thought looked pretty good. Like it did give me some like old school superhero movie vibes, like blade kind of movie vibes yeah, in some yeah, ways, but the first two blade movies are really good. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but so I'm looking forward to that. Then obviously we got Godzilla versus Kong. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so be entertaining in some ways, even though I didn't care for King uh, Godzilla, King of the monsters. I thought that was kind of, I don't know, just a poor execution, really. Just I a think generic action. It was very generic. Monsters, yeah. yeah, it was very generic, and I feel like they tried to do a little bit too much in it, and it just made it kind of like incoherent in a lot of ways. I don't know, like disappointing, but I still like big monsters hitting things, so I'm gonna watch <laughs> the movie no matter what. That's how I feel. And then uh, that's it, because uh, we're gonna get into some other stuff here. So that was uh, the Boba Fett stuff we're gonna talk about next. So th that's uh, <laughs> yeah. movie wise. 2021 that's the most anticipated is there anything that i missed on here that you guys are like looking forward to as far as the movies go as far as, as movies, movies no. yeah as far as movies i'll just my honorable mentions included one that was on your list suicide squad i am looking forward to that um just because james gunn has done such a good job with the guardians films and the other mm -hmm. movies yeah, that he's done 100%. um he's I, I i feel like that movie's got to be good It'll be it'll be more surprising if it's not good than if it is good. Um, and um, one that we haven't talked about, I don't think is on anybody's radar. Um, but Tomb Raider two, I thought the first Tomb Raider movie. Um, and I, uh, it's Alicia Vander Horse. Alicia Vikander. Vikander. Um, I thought that first movie that she, the first Tomb Raider that she did. I had no expectations for that. I mean, I, I was coming in from having the having seen the Angelina Jolie ones back in the movie, and and just kind of a so-so Tomb Raider fan. I, mm -hmm. I've, I've enjoyed some of the games, some of them I haven't. And I thought that first movie was just so good. It was so fun, so so much action, and 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 the, it, was a, it was a smart script. It it wasn't real cheesy one-liners and stuff, and even the ones that were in there hit right. Um, so the, to I was. I hoped that they would make a second one, but there was no news about that for a long time. And to hear that they are making a second one, that's coming out this year. That jumps right into my honorable mentions. Yeah, for sure. The first one was good. See, I definitely am. Look, I didn't even realize one was coming out in 2021. There's so much. Like I said, there's so much stuff coming out. I'm sure we probably missed something, but mm -hmm. at least the ones that first like jumped out at me when I was looking through the list, like those 10 or 15, whatever, whatever we got there, those are definitely the most anticipated for sure and at least uh for me in a lot of ways so obviously i went through my top five john went through his top five rick says says that he has a pretty much identical top five so pretty that much, pretty yeah. much is, yeah i mean like i said there's so much stuff coming out in 2021 like it, you you could almost like stick your hand in there and pull five out and like you'll probably want to see them like it is most mm -hmm. of the ones that are, I don't know. I'm definitely curious of where, where a lot of these movies are going to land release date wise. Cause I think some of them are still pending release dates and they still have to like shift a bunch of things around. So I don't know. We could have a good couple of months where we get to see a handful of these, you know, anticipated ones within the same week of each other. So that'll be pretty cool. And like I said, hell, so some of these being Warner brothers movies like Godzilla versus Kong and mortal Kombat and matrix four. Those are all supposedly going straight to HBO max. They might not even have to go out anywhere to actually see them. So. Then I'll get HBO. Max. Yeah. I was gonna say, but then you'll probably get HBO max once that stuff happens. For, so for <laughs> sure. Worth it. Yep. So you guys got anything else you want to add about the, on the most anticipated least? 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 <laughs> no, that that's, was. we covered mine. All right. Good deal. The question is guys, what did you think about our lists? of uh, most anticipated our top fives and then our you know our honorable mentions of just the most anticipated in general for the entire year let us know what you think down in the comment section below and then let us know what your top five is or if you got a top 10 let us know what that is just drop it down there in the comment section below